Deltona resident that's been playing around the area in restaurants and pubs for the past 16 years. Coming up next, Jeremy Johnson here on Solo Notes. Hello, welcome to Solo Notes on Deltona TV. I'm your host, Eric Alexander, and you just heard a original song from one of our Deltona residents that's been playing around the area for quite a while, and Mr. Jeremy Johnson. And that was, that was a great song, Jeremy. Thanks, that was beautiful. So that Eric. was an original. Yes, what was, was the name of that song? That song was Sitting at the Beach. 
Sitting at the beach. Well, I wonder beach. how you got that idea. Yeah, yeah. probably because the beach is right down the road. <laughs> Luckily, I love the beach. Well, that's great. <laughs> Terrific. Well, so let's uh, let's talk about Jeremy just a little bit. You just right. uh, uh, you were telling me that you you have actually moved from Kentucky when you were pretty young. Yes. Right? When, yep. Eight years old, and I'd actually did a little stint before in Florida too, down South Florida, Naples area, uh, and oh. moved back up to Kentucky. But oh, really? And, yeah. Uh, my family made yeah. us permanent residence here in Deltona. Well, good. I'm yeah. Eight years old. Yeah. Well, you're eight years old, so you went yeah. through the school system here around Deltona. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yep, yep. and uh, it's about as good a school system as you can get in State yeah. Florida, don't you I think? think I'm yeah, they educated. do a good job. Yeah. All right. Well, that's <laughs> terrific. And uh, so, when did you start getting into music? Uh, well, actually, in school, I began playing music. Uh, the saxophone, I played. Um, so sixth grade, I think, was when they first offered band, and I picked up the saxophone. Absolutely loved it. Played it through high school. And then put it down for a couple of years, and after that, always wanted to play the guitar, so just went out and bought a guitar and started picking on it. And Self-taught the then, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Guitar magazine, I would say. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The yeah. chord charts and it, yeah, learning the, chord the fingering and, just, and uh, you know playing Crazy Train or something on. Yeah. <laughs> crazy Train, yeah. right? That's a good way to start, I guess. Yeah. yeah. About on acoustic. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's interesting. So, uh, and saxophone, that's. That's so. Were you getting into any of the bluesy stuff? Do you still play saxophone at all? Uh, I would love to, but I don't own one, and they're expensive. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would love to get one. I still remember how to play it, and uh, unfortunately, like uh, I've tried to play my friends, and I guess they transcribe the notes kind of on saxophone when they play it. Because what I think is a C on saxophone isn't an actual real, real C if I put it on the on a tuner, so it's kind of confusing for me. That's right. Well, yeah, I don't. I didn't know about that yeah. yet. So, uh, well, it sounds like you're doing, you're doing well. I've seen, I saw you around town. Uh, so I saw you at the Genuine Bistro. Yep, yep, love you're that You're performing. Place. And, uh, but, um, uh, so when you started, you picked up guitar, you were approximately how old then? I'd say probably 20, 21. Yeah? 21 probably, yeah. And just hanging around here, huh? And started yep. playing and... Sitting in my room. How, now, what'd you do, you, your first gig? How'd you get your first gig? Uh, my first gig uh, was actually... Um, out at Slingapore's playing original music, and, which was a great venue, and I was thrilled to get it. I have quite a few friends that play music, and they were playing that night, and I had needed someone to open, so me and uh, my friend Rusty opened up for him, and it was it was quite the experience. It was, it was a great time. Really? Now, yeah. where was that? Slingapore's in, in Orlando. I'm not sure oh, it's still okay. there. Oh, yeah. yeah I hadn't cool. heard that. Well, that's neat. So yeah. you just picked out, you made a set list, and, and made a set list, list, wrote some songs, and, you know, wrote oh. probably seven or eight songs and played a couple covers and went out there and did it and it went over well and it was good. Fortunately after that we kind of got a band together and started playing cover music. <laughs> so we figured we could make money with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, a lot of folks think they can make money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. try. We try, yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's right. So, uh, uh, so yeah, so you've been, uh, you started writing original music and so you've been, you got a lot of original music, do you think? Uh, yeah, quite a few. I have more that I've thrown away than that I've, that I've kept it. <laughs> well, I think that's part of being an yeah. artist, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, to weed them out. Yeah, yeah. Yep, so. Yeah, quite a few. Well, that's the that's great. So you're doing, uh, you you get a chance to do your original stuff out there. Yeah. There and all that. And yeah, basically play play to the crowd, see what how everybody's right. feeling, you know. So, um, so you start playing around here in, in uh, just around the West Volusia, Sanford, like mm -hmm. Maria kind of area. Yeah, Daytona, and, Sanford, uh, Longwood. And, um, mm -hmm. It's taken you, um, uh, I'm sure you've had a lot of fun with it. And oh, yeah. Made a little bit of money. Of huh? fun. Made a lot of friends, had lots of fun, and <laughs> yeah. good times. <laughs> well, that's terrific. Well, who was it? You mentioned another guy that plays with you, Rusty, is it? Oh, he was the first person that I started playing with. He actually lives in Georgia now, though. Oh, now okay. Now I play with, uh, we spoke earlier about my buddy in Daytona, Vinny. Vinny oh, Mafia. yeah, yeah. He actually does, he does pretty good, too. He's on, uh, does a lot of webcasts and stuff, real blues guy. Yeah, oh, uh, really? On his own? Yeah. yeah. He, and he plays electric then? or could, Yeah, he'll right? play electric with me and I'll play acoustic. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, so how long you guys been playing together then? Oh, probably six or seven years. We were in a, band, a full band together for a while and we both just wanted to get out of it and take it easy playing acoustic guitars, sitting, sitting on a beach or something, you know, take it easy. Yeah, it's easier, uh, a little bit more manageable. Huh? A lot more manageable, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Full and you get band. off earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's getting right. old that's right yeah yeah i remember doing those late night gigs uh to not play until 2 a.m 
Yeah. But uh, <laughs> it's nicer to get off at eight, yeah. nine, ten, eleven o'clock at yeah. night. Huh? And that's eat some dinner while you're there. And <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Yeah. yeah. So, um, um, how many gigs approximately do you do then? About uh, are you playing now? Uh, I, I probably play probably ten times a month, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah well, that's probably not bad. So. Now you said you you mentioned you were going to school. Yep, I'm yep. going to school now. But That's still, cool. yeah, and yep. uh, about two years in, I think. And you're studying engineering. Yep. Is there a specific type of engineering you want to go into? Uh, or? Electrical engineering. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not really uh, my passion. I'd rather go into mechanical or something, but electrical seems it's the quickest route. But I'm already this far into it, so who knows what happens? Yeah. I'm well. still on my AA, so. Well, that's terrific. That's a good way to do it. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the great things about Belushi County. You got a lot of great college institutions to yeah. get to get a start up. Yeah, I and, started uh, right across right across the way there at the. Oh, did you really? Yeah, that's where I started. Fatsy, yep, yep. yep, and yep. taking classes with Daytona State. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. And a great staff over there too. They have uh, really, yeah. It's been great that they brought that over here to mm -hmm. Daytona also, so and made it convenient for yes. folks like us. That uh, I got my AA at Daytona, we went to community college at the time. But uh, uh, they've really opened that up. It's great that you're taking an opportunity of that. And, and uh, now we're going to hear another song. Uh, I think it's another original that you yes. wrote. And uh, we're going to ask you about that in, uh, in, in a little bit. And, uh, now, um, and also ask you about your partner that's sitting with you in, your, in, the, in the video, with, in the cool. singing with you. That, uh, <laughs> and uh, we'll, we're going to be right back and right after this next song. By Jeremy Johnson, I'm Eric Alexander. You're watching Solo Notes on Deltona TV. Welcome back to Solo Notes. I'm your host, Eric Alexander, and we're sitting with Deltona resident performer, songwriter, Jeremy Johnson. Now, uh, tell me about that song that you just did now. What was the name of that that we just showed? That was Goodbye. 
Oh, okay. Well, that was, is there a story behind that or do you, is there, do you there's, want to share it? There's not you? really a story. It's just a song about, you know, things not working out and it's time to, time to split ways. Yeah. 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 Um, We've all experienced some of that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> now I noticed that of course in the video, uh, we have your daughter. Oh yes. Caitlin Our sitting with you. daughter Caitlin. And, um, uh, we appreciate her being a part of that and you are uh tell us about the are you what is some of your inspirations for your original songs that you what what muses you well a lot of times uh unfortunately uh, you know when i'm really happy i don't want to go sit down and play my guitar because <laughs> i'm doing other stuff that makes me happy <laughs> so it's the times where you know you're sad you go sit in your room and you you play you play your guitar and kind of get it out music's always kind of been therapy yeah. i guess for me um, so unfortunately, I do get a, I do have a lot of sad songs, kind of or somber rather. Um, but yeah, and it's nice to to get it out and vent that way. Yes, yeah. um, it really helps. Um, that's actually how I got into playing guitar. Was just, just needed alone time and me time, so I just yeah. sat down and sat around and fiddled with it. Keep me busy. It is very therapeutic. I have a thing saying that that I play piano because therapy is too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, I would agree with that. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, it's good for the soul. And it's even better, I think, when you can go out there and share it with other people. Yes. Seeing other people smile after what you do is a, yeah. very nice. Yeah. Well, um, tell me, now, I noticed that you're playing a, a nice quality guitar, a Martin, one of the top of the line. It's my guitars. baby. It sounds beautiful. How long have you had this guitar? Uh, probably about two years now, three years. When um, I got to ask you about the hole in the guitar, <laughs> well, I noticed a, there's an unfortunate. If anybody hole. has any information on how this hole got here, contact oh, really? Jeremy Johnson. <laughs> you don't even know. I huh? do kind of know. I was playing at a, a buddy of mine, Eric's party, and um, I can see how it happened, but there was a bunch of guitars on a multi guitar rack, and people were coming up and picking oh. up guitars. And by the end of the night, I was like, wait a minute. There's a oh, my. Guitar. my. Oh, that had to be heartbreaking. Yeah, I'm still not over it. <laughs> I'll bet. Yeah. I can only imagine. Those, yeah. those are not cheap guitars. No, no, and, they're not uh, cheap. But it didn't seem to hurt the sound. No, no. The way I figured, the hole sits on my leg, so even if it, you know, if it covers up the hole, I guess it, it did make a difference. I don't think it would, but. Well, you know, you look at people like Willie Nelson. Yeah. <laughs> and his guitar. <laughs> at least they don't or have uh, Lee. straps holding it together, yeah. <laughs> That uh, sometimes gives it character. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, uh, so what are some of the gigs you're playing at now? What are you, where are you playing at um, and around? I do a weekly thing at Genuine Bistro on Wednesday nights, ladies' In nights. In Yeah, yeah, that's where I met you. Um, <clears throat> I do shots, bar and grill about once a month. Um, right. Airport, bar, and deland. Um, you know, with the original band, we just play here and there sporadically. Um, playing at the West End soon. Uh, I think next Thursday, yeah. which is the... 11th or right actually, this, this probably won't air by then though will it no yeah, no probably <laughs> not but uh, yeah, yeah. but uh, goodness tell me about the uh, original band the group um, what is that a, into that is uh, i actually don't sing in that i just play keys um but it's a lot of fun and uh the name of the band is tiger rider it's actually a funny story because it's after the dio song ride the tiger you know we see <laughs> yeah. we see someone just walking around going all crazy even though they're riding the tiger you know? <laughs> so that's where that comes from i didn't but, uh, know i yeah. not, wasn't familiar with that that's interesting <laughs> yeah it's it's fun um, yeah i love it it's something different you know and i get to sit in the background and not have and just do my own little thing be filler noise and just enjoy it, music for music and yeah i have to be out there in front how many uh musicians in that band seven well, yeah. Yeah, seven, yeah. We even got a, we got a couple of guitar players, a mandolin player, bass drums, me. Uh, oh, okay, so. Nice harmonies in the band. They do, they do a very good job at it. So mandolin, I'm guessing, so it's a little bit folk, country. Yeah, yeah kind of folk, country, a little bit of everything. You know, we mix, from, you know, whatever, whatever we can do. Do copy tunes also, or does no, it all original? It's all original, yeah. Really? So who's the main songwriter in that? Yeah. Um, Good friend of mine, Ryan Bozeman and Chris McGarry. They both write songs. Are they the guitar players? Or are they, they are yeah. The, yeah, they are the guitar players. So I always said it's hard to start a band because I can find 20 songwriter guitar players. and It's hard to find a bass player and a lead player and a drummer. But uh, yeah, they do, they do a great job at it. And uh, I mean, the materials, the material's awesome. Oh, well, that's great. So where, and that band, you say just, how often does that band play? 
Uh, not quite as much. Probably twice a month, maybe. Yeah, um, I just started with the band probably a few months ago. Uh, I've known uh, my buddy Ryan for 20-some years, and he actually gave my first lesson on guitar. Taught me how to taught me how to play a song wrong, actually. <laughs> so when I learned it and I listened to the radio, I was like, that's not right. <laughs> but, I noticed uh, you tuning that you obviously have a good ear because oh, you were yes, tuning by ear. Uh, yeah, right, no, where, no, where no, I can't take credit. I got a tuner up there. Oh, oh, yeah, you have I a built-in tuner. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, I can't I, take my, credit. Well, uh, um, I, yeah, I can't hear it though. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's well, so and if you're playing a, with original, you're playing keyboards too. That's yeah, great. Yeah, it's a lot. That of fun. is great. I bought yeah. Caitlin a piano a couple years ago. <clears throat> she wanted a piano for Christmas, and it turned out to be the best Christmas I had in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So I said, so, I sit around and play on it. Well, tell me about this last song that we're going to hear going out. Uh, on this episode, uh, you just did, or you're getting ready to do. Uh, this song, uh, last song, is called "Impaired," um, yeah. and it's basically about realizing that you are impaired, and that you know, there's not, you know, everything's not right, and self-realization of things are wrong, and you might need to change them, and you know, tomorrow's coming quick, so you this. better better start making changes if you want things to be right. Yeah, well, that sounds like a good positive message too. Yeah. What in, interesting. Uh, um, that you, you know, your muse for that. But <laughs> that sounds like you got some pretty good deep thoughts yeah. and some things to, yeah, to get out there. Yeah, that was actually the uh, first song I ever wrote, I think. Really? Yeah. Okay, great. Well, we're looking forward to hearing it. Cool. I appreciate you being on the show, Jeremy. Thanks an awful Eric, lot. Thank you. We're we'll looking forward to this last song. And I'm Eric Alexander. This is Solo Notes on Deltona TV. Memories.
Thank you.